Hey guys, it's Jen. I am back. I just wanted to show a few cards and a layout. I um, made this card for my friend's daughter's birthday this weekend. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm not using my tripod. Um, ooh, it's dark. I used the Mama Elephant, let me go get the stamps. Hold okay, on. so I used the Mama Elephant Carnival Cupcake stamp for the teeny tiny bunny. I used the smaller animals and the cupcake. Um, and then I just die cut the circle in the back and then I added some sequins. And I thought it came out pretty cute. It's for a one year old birthday. And then on the inside, I just stamped happy birthday. And then on the back, I have my created by me sign or stamp. So that's one card. Um, the second card that I made is an anniversary card. And this is for my bestie. And she was um, a matron, and matron, the matron of honor in my wedding. And I was her ma maid of honor. Yeah, because I wasn't married yet. But this is her sixth wedding, sixth year wedding anniversary, and we've been sending anniversary cards to each other like since since we got married. And um, so I just used, I have this like stamp set with fruits and stuff, and I had pears, so then I paper paper piece those, and then the the paper in the background has fun like love words like. I don't know if you can really see it. Timeless, abundance, believe, memory, hope. Just really nice words. So it just says, you make a perfect pair, very simple. And then for the sunglasses and glasses I used, let me go okay, for the, the sunglasses I used the MFT Geek is Chic um, sunglasses. They're super cute. And then I used Perfect Pearls for the, um, The lenses, can you see the shimmer? It's really, really cute. And then I just stamped you make a perfect pair. Oh, and then I also used this Technique Tuesday Border Stitches stamp, which was kind of, I mean, they're really fun and nice. I like them, but it was really hard to get them straight. Even though I used my Fiskars, um, you know, sponge stamp thingy me bobber. It was kind of um, hard to get them straight. So then on the inside, I messed up on the hand happy anniversary stamp. So I had to cover it with this gigantic like die cut heart and then I just sprayed some. And then I have my stamp in the back. So those are my two yeah. cards. Oh. It's okay, go get it. It's all right. So I wanted to show you um, another 12 by 12 layout that I did. It's the last summer layout that I am probably going to do this year. I love the title. It's sand in, my, sand in the air, salt in my hair, summer in my heart. And this was um, at the beach on my birthday. All I wanted to do was just go paddle boarding. I love paddle boarding, so. Um, Look how big this board is. It's gigantic compared to me. I'm only like five, I'm five even. So that board was huge. I really want to get my own board because um, I just want to keep it at the beach house, my parents' beach house. I just want to catch like a really good sale. I feel like this winter I should go buy it and then, because um, it'll be, like, they'll have really good prices and just keep it there. So. I used a Studio Calico stamp for that. I thought it was really cute. I added the anchor and the heart. You can change out the symbols for this. And then also they give you a 15 to do 2015. So then I cut that out. Um, and then at the end when I was cleaning up, I picked up this stamp pad and then it fell. And so it fell on top of this and then I was like scrubbing with my baby wipe and now it's all warped because it was wet and 
obviously the ink wouldn't come out. I don't know why I thought it would come out, but I think I, I guess I was just hoping. So yeah, at least it didn't get on the picture. So I'm just happy about that. So that is my um, little project share for you guys. And I hope you have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.